in today's video, we're going to be going over how to run the best defense in Madden 22 and lock your opponent down. Drop a like, let's go. What's up everybody? If you want to take your Madden 22 game into the next level, the link in the description has my ebooks and every ebook that you get gets a free upgrade for four months. I repeat, free upgrades for four months. Let's get it. We are in the Ravens defensive playbook. Right now I am on offense with a one play tutty tutty. This offensive scheme I just updated on the Patreon and in the eBooks. But let's get on the defensive side of the ball. I am in the nickel two, four, five. Anytime it is less than four wide receivers, I like to run cover four match. Now, one key thing that I would do is man up the running back 60 to 70% of the time. He's in strong close, so this defense matches perfectly. As you can see, every receiver is guarded down the field. Put acrobat on your cornerbacks and you can make diving plays. Gun doubles offset. This is a two by two set. This is when this defense has its best potential. So here we go right here and you can see I am right over the top of the safety on the right side. I man up the running back. Now the only thing I am looking for is a chuck in the slot receiver. So he bumps them. That lets me know that the guys are going vertical. What I mean by vertical is 10 yards or more. So I run down the field with the tight end and take away a potential bomb. My opponent is in gun, tray, Y flex. Don't be a hater, drop a like on the video. This matches up perfectly with cover four also. So I'm gonna cross man my vert hook to the running back. I'm gonna use her the side where it's three wide receivers at. I'm looking at the Y icon. Does he get bumped? If he gets bumped, that means that he's going longer than 10 yards. He's bumped right there. So I'm able to roll across the field and hover. I'm able to help out with any route. Let's look at that again. Once he gets bumped in that slot receiver, that lets me know that guy is going vertical. Okay, so I'm able to hover with my user across the field. He had two streaks on the left side of the field and one guy was able to cover two routes. Now, here we go right here in a small formation again. He does a play action. No bump at the line of scrimmage. So that lets me know he's gonna get picked up by the strong safety and I'm able to run around and lurk across the field. We're gonna look at that one more time. As you can see, you get a little sticky and you get an easy interception. Now when they start throwing slants and all that, everybody is going less than 10 yards. That's when you wanna make sure that you have a good user. Don't over pursue. So here we go right here, small formation, bringing my safeties down. He's running the ball. Make sure that you have your inside stuff for only one AP and you can be successful. So I'm watching if he's bumped in the slot he doesn't get bumped right there he's running slants we get the dual pressure on the quarterback now you got to match personnel he goes into gun empty chief that's going to be at least three or more wide receiver routes going out so i'm going to go into the two three six wheel i want to have a lot of speed on the field so i make an adjustment i put a 25 yard cloud on one side and I move back my deep zone. Now I'm staying right here to see if any route is doing a quick out route or a hitch. And there we go with the coverage sack. My opponent runs the hurry up. We got the 25 yard cloud over there. It's best to have about 15 to 20 yard cloud, but I did 25 just in case. So there that guy is running across the field, a little overthrow right into my cloud. He has acrobat, so he was gonna dive and animate no matter where the ball was placed at. If you enjoyed it, drop a 